Hey, what's going on everyone? Welcome back to another one. Thank you for joining me as always. Uh, if you're new to the channel, behind me is my uh, Pure Stage 2 2011 BMW 335i. In today's video, I want to show you guys the top five hidden features that you can uh, unlock in your BMW E9X using this little guy right here, the uh, Carly OBD tool. You don't have to reflash your ECU or anything like that. These are all features that are already coded into your car. Uh, they're just turned off for whatever reason based on your trim or whatever. Um, but with this little guy, you can, you can uh, interact with every single one of the modules in your car and unlock tons of awesome features. So today I'm gonna show you guys my five favorite. All right, so step one. Take your OBD adapter and just plug it into your OBD port. I didn't show the next step, but all you really need to do is go into your phone settings, disable your Bluetooth, and connect your phone's Wi-Fi to the Carly adapter. But yeah, this is the, uh, this is the dashboard for Carly, and the tab you see, customization, is what we're going to be focusing on mostly today. Um, so what you're going to want to do is just click connect down at the bottom, and connect to your car. Once you're connected, you're gonna see uh, the same dashboard, but we're gonna click on customization and continue to uh, coding. So this is where you're gonna see all the different modules that are included in your car and are available to you to read out with the Carly and do a little bit of coding and messing around with. Uh, the first one we're gonna, re we're gonna mess with is uh, car access system. So you just click on it and do read out. And I'll just let you all kinda go through at your own pace and check out all the individual features because there's so many I couldn't possibly list them all. But uh, my first favorite one is actually right here, which is comfort open and comfort close using remote. If you hit the unlock button once and then you hit it a second time and hold it, it'll put down every window in the car plus the sunroof. My car, when I first got it, you could put them down, but you couldn't put them back up. So uh, one of my favorite features with the Carly adapter is that I was able to code that uh, so that you can also put the windows back up if you do the same thing with the lock button. So that's pretty cool. That pretty much in itself made it worth it for me. Um, but moving on down, you've got stuff like uh, power folding mirrors. You can you can adjust that stuff to, you know, you can enable the feature where they fold in and out. When you unlock and lock the car, that one's pretty cool, but I don't, I choose not to do that. Um, what else in this one? So you can, you can set it to automatically lock your, your doors at a certain speed. Um, yeah, right here, threshold speed for vehicle locking. I'm gonna skip a fair bit of this one because there are You'll scroll forever. There's so many options. Once you're finished, if you've made any changes, just hit code now and agree. And it'll make the changes. So we'll go back to that module menu and go to the next one, which is heating and climate control. And some of the modules you're not really going to mess with that much. This is one of them. I didn't, I don't think I touched this at all. You're probably not going to either. So we'll just go back and go to the next one, which is the instrument cluster, one of my favorites. There's a bunch of features in your instrument cluster that are disabled when buying the car stock that you can go in here and, and enable. One of my favorites is what you see here, blank information display in the dashboard. I like that because it's a, uh, very clean look. You can see right there under where it says park. I'm changing them there. But right there, there's a blank display. I think that's very clean. So that's one of my favorites. I'm gonna skip through most of this one because there's not much else that I changed, except for at the bottom here, you can adjust the 
threshold at which your car warns you about low fuel. So I changed that too, but we'll go back next and uh, go into the lighting and FRM module. This is my favorite module to mess with because it's where you can adjust the brightness of your angel eyes, which is really cool. Um, and another one of my favorite features that I can uh, enable with Carly is the one tap turn signal because unless you have the M Sport, you don't have that feature where you can tap the turn signal once and get three, three blinks out of it, if that makes any sense. Um, so with Carly, I was able to go in and uh, enable that one tap turn signal. It's actually right here. You make them one, three, or five. So you can see right here, I enabled it for three. And my car didn't originally come with this feature, but with Carly, I was able to enable it. So that's pretty cool. Skipping down kind of far in this one because there's so many. This video will go on forever if I scroll through all of them. Um, but we get to my next favorite feature to adjust, which is, like I mentioned, the intensity, the brightness of your angel eyes. You can see here mine are set from medium to rather high. The angel eyes were dimmer than this when I first bought them. And with the Carly adapter, I was able to adjust the brightness. You can make it even brighter than this, um, but I used to have voltage issues and I don't, I don't mess with that. I, I made it a little brighter, but not, not super bright. So that's one thing I recommend doing if you decide you want to get Carly. So we'll go back and we'll go to the next one, which is windscreen wipers. And I just want to show you guys real quick because there's not really much you can adjust on this one. I don't think I changed anything because I think the uh, stock windshield wiper settings are just fine, but you can change it if you want to. The final module worth mentioning is the uh, seatbelt control module which you can go in and you can disable all the all the chimes that you get for no seatbelt. And although this is one of my favorite features that I like to disable on my car using Carly, I definitely don't condone not wearing your seatbelt. I just choose to disable it because I hate that ding so much. I want to get rid of it. Um, but I still wear my seatbelt every single time I drive. And uh, actually in my past, I was involved in a really bad car accident. I wasn't the one driving, but if I wasn't wearing a seatbelt, I probably would have died. And I'll throw a picture up right now. That's me in the corner leaning on the guardrail. Um, but yeah, so ever since something like that, you know, I respect seatbelts so much. I will never be without one, but I still like the fact that you can turn off that damn annoying ding if you want. That's pretty much it. The last module that you can mess with is the telephone module, which I don't touch because I don't really use the phone feature in my car. So that does it for the coding of the modules, but there's some other really, really cool features that come as a part of the Carly package. And one of them I'll show you right here is the uh, ability to deactivate that exhaust flap that comes on your stock exhaust. So if you want to make your car a little bit louder, you can you can deactivate that exhaust flap with Carly, which is super cool. Um, another thing that you can do is register your battery, which is super, super useful. You used to have to bring your car to a BMW dealership to do that. But with the Carly, you can uh, you can register it yourself, which is very, very important. All right, everyone. Well, that's going to do it for today. I hope you found the video helpful and uh, it convinced someone out there to go get the Carly adapter because it's actually pretty cool. I highly recommend it. Um, if you liked the video, please consider giving it a thumbs up and subscribing. It would really help me out and I'd appreciate it. Again, that's going to do it for today, guys. I really hope you enjoyed it. I enjoy making these videos and uh, I'll see you on the next one. Take it easy.